Hello everyone, my name is Holly Powell. Um, I come to you um, with my testimony. Um, it's been about three and a half years that I've been on YouTube and um, I've always done videos where I did not come on my, as myself. I came on through um, presentation. So I've actually never been led to actually come on through video, but with that said, the spirit is leading me to come on through video. That way people can see in my eyes and through my own testimony, hopefully come to the place where I am and others are as well. Um, but it, yeah, I just haven't been moved until now. So I'd like to begin with my testimony. Um, and I pray that you find peace and find your truth in the journey that I've been led through. Um, those are just my prayers for you and for everyone. As you can tell, this is kind of hard for me. I'm having a hard time breathing, but um, the Spirit's with me, so I'm going to just proceed and tell you what has happened to me. So, about three and a half years ago, all this began for me. Um, let me just say that I, in the past, went to church. I grew up Catholic then became a Baptist, very different in opinions and scripture and being taught different things. So um, through from there, I went through, um, actually I can say many churches. I've been brought through a lot. Um, I was baptized by water in a church. And so I believed like everybody else believed that you know, once you accept Christ Jesus into your life that, and you believe on him, that you are born into the kingdom. And I was also told that I was a child of God and that if I was to die, that I would go to heaven. So this is what the things that I've been taught by man. Well, needless to say, I've had some very traumatic experiences in my life take place which led me to um, study the Bible, to read the Bible. And throughout all this, I prayed to God that he would use me somehow in some way. And this was even in my darkest time where I would still pray to God and just ask him to use me however he wished to use me. So about three and a half years ago, um, I had some major things happen in my life and I just, I couldn't take the pain anymore, and I, I, I just wanted to die, actually, to tell you the truth, I wanted to die. Um, the pain was so much greater than what I thought that I could handle. Even speaking about these things right now brings back the, um, the pain and anguish that I did live through at those times. Um, but with that said, I also went outside and it was probably about three or four o'clock in the morning and it was pitch black outside and I fell on my knees and went even down on all four, fours and I screamed and I begged and I pleaded and I told God even that if he was even real to just kill me, that if he was real, I just wanted to die. I just, just to grant me this, please, Lord, just to stop all this pain that was in my heart and in my mind. And it was just something I didn't, I didn't care to deal with anymore. I just wanted to die. And as I was on all fours and professing to God, who I, at the time I didn't even know was real because of all the pain that I was going through, but yet I was supposedly saved. And now I ask, what was I saved from if, if we can go through all this pain? But in that moment, in a split second, even as I was down on all fours, crying and heaving and 
to the point where I could not even speak hardly because of all the heaving and crying, something happened. Something changed. I felt it. It was inside of me. It was, it was in my heart. And it was also in my mind because what had happened that second, it is so hard for me to describe in words what happened, but it was like a lifting a piece that an inner piece that just, just came to life in me. And I stopped crying and I stopped screaming out. And instead of believing what others had told me, I knew instantly even that there is a God and the God that I had just asked to kill me did kill me. He killed me spiritually. It wasn't, it wasn't a physical death that, that so many think that it is. It's, it's a spiritual death in order for us to become spiritually awakened. And also in that second of this peace that just washed over my body, I heard audibly these words. I heard, you have been made whole. Go and sin no more. Huh. And if I couldn't catch my breath before all this happened, I surely, it was hard for me to catch my breath after hearing these words. And instantly, I was like, oh my gosh. We're not supposed to sin. We're not supposed to sin. How do we gain peace? How do we gain heaven on earth? It is because when we become filled with the spirit, the spirit of God that he births within us, then there is a peace and a knowing that we can live without sin. Sin is a choice. We choose in our mind before we lie. We choose in our mind before we cheat someone. We choose in our mind before we are to murder someone or kill someone. We choose in our mind when we're jealous of someone. So if we do all these things in our mind, then our God has given us a choice. And the choice to either do these things or not do these things, it's what he has given us. He loves us so much that he said, I will give you choice. So in that choosing, if we believe that Jesus did these things, that he lived without sin, then why can't we believe that we can do the same just as Jesus did? When God gives us Christ, which is the anointing of the Holy Spirit, then God places in our mind and in our hearts and in our soul and and gives us all strength to know that when we call on him, that he will give us this peace and this, this life. It's a new life. Because before I went outside that night, I, I was horrible. I lived a life that I don't even want to talk about. <laughs> but I just want to say that I was a great, I was a, a horrible sinner. And I admit that. And I am sorry for anybody that I've ever done wrong to. And, and I I pray for their forgiveness. But before that happens, we have to, we have to go to God. We have to go to our father. Who is our father? That was not, the spirit is not, it's not what you think it is. It's not what man has taught us that it is. And no man has taught this to me. This didn't happen in a church. This didn't happen, um, by going to seminary school or, or reading all the scripture, even though I study the word every single day of my life, because I love it, I consume it. And, and the pages in the book become alive whenever we gain the spirit. And the way that our father does this is, is that we see in the spirit. And with that said, it's, 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 we, we're flesh. We're made from the earth. Our body's made from dust. So in a sense, we are made from our mother earth. Well, when we're made from, from physical aspects of this earth, then once our father comes inside of us, and that is when he comes inside of us, it's, it's through 
the the virgin body and me and what i mean by that it's it's not to do with a man and a woman but it has to do with with our physical motherly fleshly body our flesh and when the spirit comes and enters into us which is the father and the father is spirit and when when our spirit father comes into our fleshly mother which is our body then a child is born and that child that is born within us becomes alive and then when we start learning things from the spirit which is from our father that this child is birthed into us then we start learning the true ways of our father and our mother and we do not have to go to a church to learn from other men it says in in our father's written word that when the holy spirit comes that he he is the teacher of all things and no man is our teacher we do not learn from other people because the father wants to teach us and he does that through his spirit and when his spirit comes inside of us it's it's born it's it it comes to life and whenever you begin reading his word it will agree 100% with the water and the blood and the spirit which is inside of us and then the three that agree in one with the father is the father his word and the holy ghost which is spirit so when the two combine the father inside of us which he's spirit we're flesh when that the union comes together then the marriage is complete then we are married to the spirit and what god joins inside of us no man can separate us meaning they cannot take what we know from father spirit and change it they cannot because it's not about worshiping a man yes jesus i love jesus jesus he's my brother so i want to finish this story real quick and and have you explain why i love jesus so much and why i see him i i hear him in the spirit because when we gain the spirit then we gain christ which is the anointing of the spirit so a couple of days after all this happened and i professly with all my being tell you what i heard and the things that I experienced this is my testimony one that goes along with christ with jesus even jesus and christ are two separate things jesus was the man he was the first born and christ is the second born just as all of us should be born in the second man and that is with the spirit the spirit man that when he comes that he joins us to that marriage of the spirit okay so um a couple of nights after all this took place out of my backyard i um stayed up pretty much all night again was reading scripture reading scripture because it just i ate that little book i i i wanted truth and i wanted i wanted to learn everything that i possibly could from my father spirit because he started teaching me so i ate the little book so one night um after being up i went to go lay down and at the time i was i went to go lay down my son wasn't here so i went to go sleep in his bed and as soon as i laid my head down on the pillow as soon as as soon as i did um i closed my eyes and instantly i was over my body i was looking down at my body and i'm thinking hmm why am i seeing my body and um as i was just looking there i was like what's going on i've always been the type that um could like if i'm dreaming i know that i'm dreaming so if something bad happens in my dream i have a certain way of waking myself up and if i don't wake myself up then um i can do something like i can move my foot or move my hand and my husband will wake me up or i i can start panting and or crying in my sleep and my husband knows to instantly wake me up he's a light sleeper and i'm a heavy sleeper 
But um, I've always known that. But this time it was different. It was almost as if I was not dreaming. I just laid my head down. I mean, literally. And then whenever I was sitting there looking down at my body, I was instantly taken. So the next scene that I see is um, over to the far side of me. Well, a ways back from me, I could see the shape of earth. Okay. It was like this. And I was kind of for far, far back from the earth. And then on right beside the earth was a man. And now that I know or what the spirit has been showing me and teaching me for a long time, I didn't know who that man was. Well, it, the man was Jesus. He was in his flesh, he, even though he was spirit and he took me in the spirit, he was in his flesh. Okay. So he's kind of far back and he's looking at me from this direction and the world's right here and his foot's right here. So, and, well, his whole body's right there on the side of the earth. And then I see him. He goes, he's, look, I'm looking around and I'm thinking and, and everything was just running through my mind and I didn't understand kind of why I was here, what was going on. And then all of a sudden I kind of saw him looking at me and he was like, like, are you watching? So I just stood there and watched. And then he says, he went, he didn't say it to me, but he, he went, he took his hands like this and he went, he yelled like really, really loud to the earth because he was facing towards the earth. And then it was like, okay. <laughs> and I didn't understand what he was saying, but he yelled into the earth. So then what he did next was he took his foot, his right foot, and it was like his right foot was standing on the world. And then his left foot was hanging off like into the air. So he took his foot and he reared it up and then he went, and it just shook. It shook and rattled the earth. So then he start after he did that, he started clapping. And I was like, Ooh, I don't understand, but okay, this is, yeah, hmm, this is intense. So then he did it again. He slammed his foot down and then he began clapping, like bringing his hands together like this. And then for the third and final time, he did it again. He slammed his foot down and then he started clapping and then he went, just like that, with the smile and everything. He looked up, I'll never forget it. He looked up and he was clapping and he smiled up there and then he looked back at me, took his hands down. Well, no, before he took his hands down, he looked at me and then he smiled as if I'm giving all my credit to my father. He was giving his credit to the father. The father has bestowed upon him and the father has bestowed upon us to bring in his kingdom. And this the kingdom is through the spirit that our father gives every single one of us when we know who to worship and our worship should go to the father. Our father loves us. Our father is spirit. Jesus is our brother. He was a man made out of flesh and he was murdered by the very ones that have felt threatened by him. He was our example. He showed us how to walk this life. And if we believe that him being a man can walk this life without sin, if you believe that in your heart and your mind and your soul, then you know that the one true God whose spirit has the same power to give you exactly the same power that he gave Jesus and many others in that book, because what has happened to Jesus has happened to David. It has happened to, um, Job. It has happened to so many Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob <clears throat> really study his word, study his word, and just know that the spirit is here and the kingdom has come and it is time for us to become as one in the spirit and to love our brothers. And if we love our brothers, we're not going to cheat, lie, steal, murder, be jealous, kill. We're not going to kill them physically. And we sure aren't going to kill their spirit by saying that they don't have truth in them and life and this truth and this life 
and the way to live comes through the spirit and the spirit teaches us these things. And I, I would have not known these things had I not been taught these things from my father. And I just pray guys that it's time. It's time for the truth to, to be revealed and to love all of our brothers and sisters, not just those in a certain religion. Do you know that religion was started to, to separate us, to, to further us from the, the truth? And it has because all these different religion, religions, I say legions, just like the story where um, Christ said, come out of them demons the demons that was in the man that contained the legions, the legions, the religions, that is what has been created in those places. It is time to come out of religion, religions, and come into the Father and the Spirit who is one, who loves all of us. How can we separate the love of God If somebody is is loving you and doesn't lie to you and do all these things that that our father's commandments teaches us, that is how we love. We love them by doing these things. That is pure love. And that is given from the father. And it's the spirit. It's his son. Father is spirit. His spirit inside of us is is the son. It the, the son and the father become one. I have become one with my father and with my mother who I have been born from. It, it's so much more than what we've been taught. And the father teaches us if we go to him with the mind of a child, we have to go to him with the mind of a child. And we have to teach, we have to throw out everything that we've been taught by man and come to the father with a child's mind, meaning that we, we know nothing. We humble, humble ourselves and we profess to know nothing. And when we profess to know nothing, then he fills us with things that is his ways. His ways are higher than our ways. <sighs> Anyone watching this video, I just pray, I pray with all my heart, mind, and soul that you just come out of religion, that you come out of worshiping a man and go to the Father. Jesus would not have wanted you to worship him. He tells Everybody, when he's alive, don't worship me. Don't. It is the Father who gave this to me. Love him. Go to the Father. Go to your Father. Ask him. Wrestle with him like Jacob did. Ask him to bless you. Ask him to give you what he gave Jacob and David and Isaac and, and Jesus and Zechariah and so many others. And he's also given to me. I did not choose this. I did not choose this way of life. He chose me. He, I can seriously tell you he chose me. Because I did not live the life that Jesus lived. Until I gained the spirit. And the spirit is the one who teaches us. Because the spirit is from father. And that's what makes us an adopted son and daughter into the kingdom of our father. And when it says sons, it means light. Sons. We're inside of God's body. That he's taught me over and over. And if we're all of us are inside of God's body, then there's no reckoning between this and that. He loves all of us, good or bad. He loves us. And he has sent his son, his spirit son, to come down and Mary into our bodies. And when this happens, what God has joined, no man can separate ever. So I pray that you find what you're looking for in this video. And if you don't, I don't want you to find it in me. I don't want you to find it in my walk. I want you to find it in your walk. And your walk has got to include the Father. The Father and Jesus are separate entities. Jesus sent you to his father. He told you to follow me. I too say, follow me. I live without sin. I will not sin with the power of the Holy Spirit in me. Nope. 
Even if I think that I'm going to sin, I call upon the name of the Lord, which is Christ. Christ is the spirit that was in Jesus. The Christ is the spirit that is in me. That is the name of the Son, the Spirit, Son of Father. It's Christ. It's anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray. I pray anybody listening to these words, go to the Father. The Father is the one that will set you free by giving you his Son. Wrestle with God. I don't know how to end this video, but to tell you that I love all of you. And I pray that all of you love me back and you do the same that I've done to you. Not to lie, cheat, steal, kill, be jealous. It's there for everybody. It's there for all of us. Ask and you will receive. Knock and it will be opened. Father says come. The spirit and the bride are saying come. I pray that you come into the truth and in the light and in the way of the spirit of God the Father inside of you as you become one with the Father and the Mother. Love y'all.